I think the big take out of this season's away kit that people need to understand is Manchester United has quite a big legacy with stripes and we want to revisit that. There's a couple of times and I invite anybody to, to do the research and look into our past and see that we've done striped shirts. Manchester United's first ever away kit was uh, actually striped, uh, using green and white stripes. And it's something that we wanted to celebrate and bring into this away kit. We're really excited about sort of how it's going to develop over the season and how it's going to be remembered in years to come. It's, it's quite famous in the early 1900s, uh, in the period between 1909 and 1930, we had a variety of different stripes. The last time this stripe kit was actually used was more than two decades ago, so actually bringing this into like a fresh perspective, using the greens, the reds from the city, using the terracotta colours. If you go around the Northern Quarter, for example, you'll see dark red brick buildings with um, green window frames, green pipes, things like that, and so the combination of the three colours really work together. So uh, this is actually something that I was quite educated on by Inigo, uh, who's from Manchester and also a huge United fan, is, is the connection between casual wear uh, within Manchester and also just stripes in general. You look into the 80s and 90s club culture, youth culture, vertical stripes has been something of, uh, you know, it's a staple in every person's wardrobe. We wanted to bring that casual look, youth culture look into the shirt, but playing with a uh, a really unique Manchester colour palette. To be honest, I think as much as United's home is all about the DNA of the club, I think this is the DNA of the, both the club and the city, but really in a modern interpretation. We took the wider cultural cues and hues from what kids and, and the youth of present and past wore within Manchester, combined that a little bit with Man United's DNA with, with stripes in the past. It's something which we really wanted to do something disruptive to what we've done in previous seasons. So on away days, for example, you take a little bit of the culture and the heritage, uh, and the, in this case, the architecture of the city uh, on the away day. 